If you like to travel and you love animals, then correspondent Alyssa Caverly's got you covered in this week's Giving Back segment. Southeast Asia is probably most well known for its humid climate, its friendly people, and of course, its exotic animals. Monkeys, orangutans, giraffes, painted storks, all among the beautiful creatures you're likely to encounter in Malaysia. And one of the more extraordinary animals here is the Asian elephant. These particular elephants are much smaller than their African cousins and don't have the same large ivory tusks. But even though they're not hunted for ivory, they're still at risk. An endangered species in Malaysia, there are only 1,200 elephants left in the country. 27 of them are at the National Elephant Conservation Center in Kuala Ganda. These elephants are what the center calls working elephants. They're injured or impaired in some form and can't be released back into the wild. Development and expanding agriculture operations are also beginning to take over the rainforest and the animal's natural habitat. Elephants that get in the way are often injured or killed. The Kuala Ganda Elephant Sanctuary uses their elephants to lure other endangered ones into nationally protected forests where they can start a new life. Some criticize the sanctuary for taking these social creatures from their homes, but it turns out it's critical to keeping them alive. And the sanctuary needs all the help it can get. In fact, there's a way you can help as a volunteer. Hands-on experience working with endangered elephants. You are cleaning the cash, you are cleaning their poo, you are feeding them, you are wash them. It's many kind of chores. Mm -hmm. To become a volunteer, you just apply through the center. If accepted, you'll get to stay right on the grounds where the elephants live for a minimum of five days. But if five days is too long, there's another way you can help. At Zoo Nagara, you can get down and dirty with the elephants as well as some other animals during much shorter visits. The volunteer program gets you up close and personal pretty quickly. I'm glad I have these boots on. My little shoes would be soaked. As a volunteer, you need to get to the zoo by 8 a.m. to get your marching orders for the day. Then you're assigned to an animal exhibit where you'll work until about four. And by the end of the day, you'll have learned a lot about the animal's habits. Some normal, some less so. It is a big thing, but she's afraid of frogs. She's afraid of frogs? Yeah. Ah! But our our get... elephant was afraid of frogs. Only her, uh -huh. not the other one. Right. So team. basically, you know the habits of the animals, you know the names. You can get the direct, con direct contact with the animals compared to the visitors that we have. Yeah. However, we allow only 100 person only to, 100. Do okay. to do volunteer for one day. Yes. Volunteering is a great way to give back to a country you're visiting. Not to mention, bathing an elephant is something you'll never forget. I'm Melissa Caverly for The Travel Detective. <laughs>